Mars lost its atmosphere. Where'd it go? <laughs> hey, Curious Kids, Kevin here. Today on a place called space, we are looking for Mars's atmosphere. Hmm. It seems to have lost 90% of it about 4 billion years ago. But what that means is that it still has some. There's not much, but there's some. So let's check it out. I mean, Earth has an atmosphere. We're able to breathe. What's Mars is like? Well, the Martian atmosphere is thin, and I mean really thin. It's 100 times thinner than Earth's. To put some numbers on it, Earth's standard atmosphere is 14.7 psi, or pounds per square inch. It's how we measure the pressure around us. You know the thing you feel that kind of pushes on you like when you're in a pool? Well, Mars is less than 1% of that of Earth at 0.09 psi. Now the air on Earth is mostly nitrogen and oxygen. That's not the case on Mars. The Martian air is not breathable. So when we get there, we're gonna have to have spacesuits so we don't die. <laughs> Mars's air is almost entirely carbon dioxide, which is deadly to us. It's 95% carbon dioxide, 2.6% nitrogen, 1.9% argon, and then there's trace amounts of water vapor, oxygen, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, and other noble gases. There's actually a science experiment on NASA's Perseverance rover called MOXIE. It's trying to produce oxygen from the carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere. This is really exciting because future missions could use this to breathe or for rocket fuel, so we don't have to bring it all with us, so we can come back home, you know. <laughs> Even though the atmosphere is thin, it is capable of having planet-wide dust storms every about five and a half Earth years. This can be and has been deadly to our solar powered robot friends on the surface. The dust covers the solar panels and then they cannot produce enough energy and they die. But it's not too intense for humans though. It's pretty weak wind. It's not like a hurricane or a tornado here on earth. Yes, that means the start of the Martian can't scientifically happen. And our friend Mark Watney is safe. So Mars is really cool. Literally, it's cold. And that comes from being further away from the sun and also having a thin atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere helps keep in the heat from the sun. This is called the greenhouse effect. It happens on Venus to the extreme. Mars's thin atmosphere is not good enough to keep all the heat inside, but it used to be. It used to be thicker, which led to Mars being wetter and warmer about four billion years ago. So what happened? How did Mars lose its atmosphere and turn into this dry, desolate desert that it is today. Well, something happened, maybe a giant impact, about four billion years ago that shut off Mars's magnetic field. We have one of these on Earth. It acts as a shield to protect us from the sun's radiation and the solar wind. The solar wind is a stream of energetic particles that shoot off from the sun. So Mars lost its protective shield, the magnetic field, and then the solar wind started blowing away the atmosphere. Now Mars also has lower gravity because it's less dense, it has less mass, and gravity, as we learned, helps hold down the atmosphere. So Mars having no shield and lower gravity caused it to lose its atmosphere. But if we can somehow block that solar wind, like with an artificial or human-made magnetic field shield, then Mars's atmosphere can grow back get thicker, become warmer, and maybe even let the oceans return. Now, on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of what is the fastest moving planet around the sun is D, Mercury. This week's question is, what is the word to make a planet like Earth? Is it A, terraform, B, Gaia capture, C, Earth 2.0, or D, homeoplaneto? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.